Binge Pipe has a lot of hobbies besides presenting You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, please, no whistleblowers. I'm Cookie Masterson, here to give you an excuse to be on your phone in a social situation. Ah, uh, two players. Well, I'm glad you two found each other. Let's forge ahead. Time for question one. To get things started, singles night at the watering hole. Picture it. A suitor with an impressive neck beard decides to go full alpha and approach the fastest mammal at the bar. He tips his fedora and says, Milady, Malayan, Malama, or Maleopard Seal. And how'd we do? <laughs> Lions have been clocked running 50 miles per hour in short sprints. <laughs> Sorry animals, it's closing time. You don't have to go home, but you can't graze here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. How about this one? Casual dining for the enlightened mind. I just had lunch at the Philosopher Cafe. It's like an Applebee's if Applebee's made you confront your own mortality. Which appetizer pays tribute to the father of existentialism? A thrice-baked Play-Doh potato, a Kant croissant with beef drizzles, a farmyard flatbread with Kierkegaard Swiss chard, or a cheese-blasted hops corn on the cobs? So who got it? Truth is subjective, but you're definitely wrong. Soren Kierkegaard is known as the father of existentialism. Because he gave birth to the concept with his brain. You know, like fathers do. Why do we do it with three? It's time for Ask Your Doctor if toys are right for you. Hey, over here! Hello? Now that I have your attention, it's time for Dis or Dat. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a brand of fidget spinners or a doctor prescribed ADHD medication. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between a fidget spinner or an ADHD drug. And you're both doing this together, so look alive. Ready? Good. Zek Pro. Filavant. Trianium. Addison. Daytrona. Focalin. Buster. I've seen worse. Okay, let's move along. I don't need you anymore. Take a good look at a little bump and grind. Dance-based exercise is very empowering. That's why I'm currently wearing a bedazzled headband. Which of these moves could I actually do in my burlesque class? Shimmy out of my shimmy, shake out of my shake, bump out of my bump, or jiggle out of my jiggle? Okay, let's take a look. Shimmy is another word for chemise or slip, a type of sleeveless dress or undergarment. Shimmy is also a dance move that is very seductive, or so I've been told. I'm way behind on my homework. Feast your eyes upon this. Portugal, the man, the band, a plan, a canal, Panama. If the oddly named band Portugal, the man, went on tour in Portugal country, what larger region would they also be visiting? Lisbon, the capital, the United Kingdom, the empire, South America, the continent, or Iberia, the peninsula? Oh, 
Okay, who chose what? Uh Uh-huh, it's a little-known fact that cities are larger than the country they're inside of. This totally checks out. (laughs) Portugal is located on the Iberian Peninsula, along with Spain and Andorra. It's not surrounded by water on all sides, because no Portugal, the man, is an island. Round one is dead to me. Let's look at the scores I'll be sending to your parents. Currently, player one is in the lead. Player two, on the other hand, you're doing the bad thing. Sounds like it's screw time. (laughs) That's correct, binge pipe employee Cookie Masterson. Use the screw to make answering a question. Fine, we'll skip it. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. Just wonderful, Cookie. Six trombones is not a parade. And now, playing with my pills. Once a year, I organize my medicine cabinet, and I just like to put on little plays with pharmaceuticals. Well, if it isn't me old nemesis, acetaminophen. It's me, ibuprofen, but you might better know me as Tylenol, Percocet, Ali. Let's see how that shook out. Should have picked this. Advil is one of the trade names for the pharmaceutical ibuprofen. Ibuprofen also masquerades as Motrin and Nurofen. Ibuprofen is to be taken for fever, menstrual cramps, and headaches caused by amateur theater. Hey, question! Binge Pipe now offers content surveys. Would you like a question that kills two birds with one stone, or a question that kills one bird with two stones? Choose on your devices now. Here are the consequences of your choices. You have chosen. La vie est un canard. Set. Let's try a question that kills two birds with one stone. This question has been arrested under suspicion of murder. The victim, two birds. The weapon, one stone. Which of the following items in this question's possession could be the murder weapon? You know, because it's a type of stone. Pharaoh, Dyra. Oh, this'll be good. You knew that screw was coming, player one. Quit fidgeting and answer the question. Okay, what'd you pick? Don't even look. <laughs> Ferro, triticale, and amaranth are all whole grains. Diorite is the only stone. Okay, all jokes aside, this question is in custody for bird murder now, so we have to take it away. Thanks for your help. Expert screwing player two. Here's that cash. Was then I learned to heed the winds of it. Next up, tag your it. Because they look alike, what might Facebook ask classic literary character Tom Canty when he posts a selfie? Do you want to tag Oliver Twist? Do you want to tag Huckleberry Finn? Do you want to tag King Arthur? Or do you want to tag... Let's see who got it. Let's call this a teaching moment. Tom Canty swaps places with his lookalike Prince Edward in The Prince and the Pauper. Same thing happens with me and Brad Pitt. Super annoying. This one's called We Know What You Need. Hmm, that's ominous. Binge Pipe recommends. Because you enjoy TV shows based on movies, we thought you'd like Game of Thrones, Riverdale, Westworld, or The Blacklist. Hope you like what you picked. The HBO series Westworld is based on the 1973 film of the same name. Yes, 
This one's known as Diet Word Salad. Which of these is an actual flavor of Dr. Pepper? Diet Cherry Vanilla Dr. Pepper, Cherry Vanilla Diet Dr. Pepper, Diet Vanilla Dr. Pepper Cherry, or Diet Dr. Pepper Cherry Vanilla? What'd you guys pick? Sweet dreams. <laughs> what were you thinking there? <laughs> no, no, I'll get it. Obviously, the official order of these words is Diet Cherry Vanilla Dr. Pepper. As opposed to Dr. Pepper Cherry Diet Vanilla, my orthodontist who was raised in a progressive polyamorous multi-parental family where everybody had silly last names. <laughs> made it to the attack. Oh, was I talking? Silly me. Here's your clue. I've been time-framed in a general sense. I hope you know what real and fictional things happened when. Good luck. takes it way to go player one you sure did win this game but remember there are no winners in the grave no winners in the grave you don't know